Hi, I'm Dave Martini, President of the National Society of Professional Engineers, and it's my pleasure to keep you in the know with NSPE. As you know, the world finds itself today in a crisis unlike any in recent memory. While members of the engineering profession are facing the same uncertainties as everyone else, NSPE's volunteer leaders and staff are firmly committed to doing the very best we can to help you through this very difficult time. As you strive to stay on top of your professional and personal life, remember that NSPE is a resource for you. As the world responds to the coronavirus, NSP would like to express its concern for our members, staff, and all who are affected by this pandemic. As we know, licensed professional engineers are obligated to hold the public health, safety, and welfare above all other considerations. This principle is fundamental to the mission of NSPE and our NYSET certification division. Accordingly, we continue to monitor international, national, state, and local developments arising from the outbreak. To protect our employees, members, and other customers, we are taking all appropriate steps consistent with the guidance issued by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention while maintaining the maximum level of operations in the performance of our services. NSPE staff and volunteer leaders will continue working daily to assess the fast changing situation and will move quickly to adjust our policies as appropriate. In this challenging time, we remain committed to serving our members. Please visit our website to view some of the many resources that NSPE staff has put together to help you during this time. Included on this page are links to reports on state actions, access to video explaining how state and federal responses affect PEs, a video message from our executive director, government relations resources, and more. Our May-June issue of PE Magazine is now online. It highlights how our members and state societies are coping with COVID-19 and getting work done. It also includes leadership lessons from the pandemic and examples of how engineering education is adapting and helping. NSPE's government relations team is working nonstop to support NSPE members during this difficult time. NSPE's government relations team frequently combs through new pieces of legislation and, and executive orders related to the coronavirus pandemic that potentially impact our members. We have worked with countless state societies and their staff to ensure that engineering is deemed an essential service. Through our quorum page, members can see maps and lists of state actions related to COVID-19 that impact small businesses and licensure. These resources can be found through the COVID-19 webpage on the NSP website, and these lists include custom descriptions and will update in real time to give members the most up-to-date and accurate information on how their profession is being affected. The recent focus on COVID-19 related actions has not taken attention away from our other advocacy work. NSP's government relations staff continues to promote the value of the PE license and a qualified engineering team. Through the Alliance for Responsible Professional Licensing, ARPL, NSP works to create narratives emphasizing the important role licensing serves in protecting the public and stands ready to strike when deregulation comes to the forefront of policy discussions. Additionally, NSP stands ready to advocate for the presence of professional engineers in areas of emerging technologies, which is evident by the submission of two separate public comments on the need to have a PE involved in the creation of standards and regulations surrounding emerging technologies. The NSB government relations team is always working to promote and protect the PE license, even in areas that seem to outsiders as a lesser priority during the time of COVID-19. NSB is tracking and identifying executive orders and legislation related to COVID-19 and has created one-page printable reports. Please note that this page is a work in progress. As we uncover legislative actions in the states, we will update the content on the map as it becomes available. If you are aware of legislation that hasn't been published on this page and should be, please send an email to governmentrelations at nspe.org. In order to protect the health, safety, and welfare of our members, while continuing to provide meaningful and valuable education and engagement opportunities, 
NSP leadership has made the decision to postpone this year's Professional Engineers Conference in Philadelphia until summer 2021. We are excited to announce that NSP is planning to host a suite of online events that will constitute a virtual PE conference August 3rd through the 7th. Events will be centered around the annual celebration of PE Day, which is August 5th, allowing us to create synergy around both events. A virtual PE Con allows more attendees across the country to participate safely and conveniently and take in as much content as desired. It is a solution that is mindful of many personal and professional challenges individuals are facing. This new virtual program will better allow attendees to participate according to their schedules, even more easily than a typical year. Sessions can be experienced in a live virtual environment or by accessing recordings at a time more convenient to the individual. Virtual PEcon will be easily accessible and affordable due to the elimination of travel costs and reduction in registration fees. PDH credits will be available for education sessions comparable to the amount you could earn at a regular PEcon. Virtual PEcon also aims to provide networking and social connection with colleagues in addition to professional development opportunities. Current plans for the virtual PE conference include education tracks and sessions featuring many of the sessions already planned for PE Con 2020, tracks spread throughout the week at various times of day, empowering attendees to take in more of the content they desire, recording of all sessions to make them available for on-demand viewing, hosting keynote speakers, and senior leaders allowing for interactive Q&A with attendees, and networking and roundtable discussions with peers by region and areas of practice geared to increase dialogue and member engagement. Stay tuned for more information on content and registration to come. The PE Institute continues to be your source for continuing education and online learning. Access your 15 free courses online which include our popular engineering ethics series, as well as seminars on advancing your career and staying up to date with the latest in engineering technology. PDHs from the free courses are recognized by most US states, including Florida. NSP has put together a short video to show you how to access these 15 free courses. Check back weekly on PE Institute to see a listing of updated live webinars and state society and local chapter virtual meetings. All states and chapters are encouraged to post their offerings here. As conferences around the country face cancellations, we want to make sure you have access to professional development hours with affordable quality webinars from the safety of your home. That's why we're increasing our webinar offerings and decreasing our prices. Now members can take advantage of more online education than ever before. Reserve your seat for new webinars added at a special price, $99 for NSB members and $129 for non-members. We've heard your request for more webinars and will continue to add educational sessions of interest to you. Continue to check the PE Institute for new webinars, which are held regularly on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. Eastern. Attendees can earn PDHs by passing a short quiz after each session. Remember to stay connected. NSP's members are encouraged to engage with peers, crowdsource questions, and collaborate with professional engineers from all disciplines and career stages across the country in NSP's online communities. Here are some of the recent topics. We look forward to seeing you join the discussion. Licensure and certification focus on education, experience, and examination in determining who is knowledgeable qualified and competent to protect the public. NYSET and NSP rely upon examinations and exam centers. Pearson View, the exam centers that conduct the PE and FE exams and all NYSET exams began reopening May 1st, 2020. Due to social distancing, additional safety precautions and scheduling efficiencies, Pearson View canceled all scheduled appointments and is rebooking. Affected customers will receive notice from Pearson View. Due to the distancing restrictions required, 
test centers will continue to operate at approximately 50% seat capacity, resulting in constrained appointment availability. If needed, this process may be, re be repeated in June. However, candidates will only be disrupted if social distancing requirements are not met. NYSET extended all candidate testing windows through December 31st, 2020. Candidates may need to expand their search for available times to several months into the future. We are in a crisis unlike any in recent memory. As you strive to stay on top of your professional and personal life, NYSET is doing all we can to reduce additional stress from the certification process. Your health and safety is paramount. Test takers will continue to apply for their next exam. However, due to ongoing changes to local restrictions, uncertain capacity limitations, social distancing, disinfection procedures, etc., reservations are subject to change. NYSET is making the following accommodations. All eligibility windows are extended through December 31, 2020. Rescheduling fees are waived. Candidates may cancel for a full refund. For recertification, NYSET will allow enhanced flexibility for certification holders to accumulate CPD points in order to maintain active status. The following guidelines shall apply. If you become unemployed as a result of COVID-19 restrictions, you may still claim active practitioner points for the current cycle. Additional education points may be claimed now and may be accumulated for up to six months beyond your expiration date for the current cycle. Reinstatement fees will be waived. NYSET can aid with recertification fees. Recertification procedures, procedure changes will be valid for expiration dates through June 1st, 2021. All CBD point claims should be submitted in a manner that is consistent with the NYSET Code of Ethics. Visit www.nyset.org forward slash COVID-19 for the latest information. Finally, NSP congratulates the class of 2020 who face uncertainty as they seek to begin their careers or the next stage of their education. Today's students are the future of the engineering profession and will be tomorrow's problem solvers who will turn ideas into reality. Student membership is free and provides resources for students and graduates seeking information about engineering and tips on starting down the path to a rewarding career.